guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video for you guys. I managed to get my hands on the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay palette and I am so excited to try this out that I thought I would do something a little bit different today. So as you can see, I've done all of my makeup except for my eyes and there's a reason for that. I wanted to leave the final look a surprise because I am going to be putting every single eyeshadow from this palette onto my eyes. And I thought I could just do a normal review for you guys, but I'm sure you guys have seen loads of them already. So why not make this a little bit more fun, a little bit more challenging, and also get to see every single color in this palette. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And just before we get into the video, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. My channel is dedicated to all things makeup and beauty, so if that sounds like something you're into, then please hit that button down below. So if you want to see me attempt to put every single eyeshadow from this palette onto my eyes, then please keep watching. Just before we get into the eyes, I wanted to take a quick look at the palette itself to see what we're up against. So I'm sure if you've clicked on this video, you probably know who Nikki Tutorials is, you probably know about the palette, and you've most likely seen her video explaining everything to do with this palette. So I'm not gonna to go too much into detail, but just for those who may have missed it, this is her new palette with Beauty Bay. There is a bright side and a dark side. There are two mirrors as you can see. This one here is just a normal mirror and this one is a magnifying mirror, which I thought was quite cool. So these are all the shades. There are 20 shades in total, eight shimmer shades and 12 matte shades. So I have divided them into two halves. I'm gonna be doing 10 on each eye and I have an idea of what I wanna do. So hopefully this turns out okay. If it doesn't, this is just gonna be a funny video for you to watch. I'll give you my final thoughts on the palette at the end. So I think that's enough of me chatting for now. Let's just get straight into the eyes. Before I start my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use the Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base by NARS. I feel like the camera isn't doing this color justice. This is the most beautiful shade I think I've ever seen in my life and I'm not even being dramatic. I mean, I am, but like, oh my God. I don't know how well you can see that, but I just want to like bathe myself in it. It's such a nice color. That was pride. Oh, it's only the second shade. <laughs> the camera is just not doing these justice. The shimmers apply really nicely with a brush, but you get so much more of the pigment when you use your fingers like, oh my God. Okay, I really need to stop talking.
Okay, so that's the first eye done. I love the colours and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I was struggling a little bit on this kind of inner corner by my brow here because at first I'd kind of blown it out too much and then I tried to correct with concealer. There's still a little bit of a line where I've tried to correct it, but it's fine, we'll leave it. And I really wanted to kind of blow out the eyeshadow onto my temples so that's what I did with the pink. So the majority of those shades were kind of from the bright side. So now for this side of my face we're going to be using more dark colours and after seeing how these shadows performed I'm really excited for this side so let's see what happens. I don't know how well you can see that but that colour, um, basic truth um, I think is how it's pronounced. It's a very, very light beige shade. I don't know whether it's because the primer has now dried down or if it's just the shade. It's sticking to kind of like where the primer was, I guess. But it's not too much of a problem because that shade is just so light, it's not showing up on me at all. I don't quite know what that shade would be used for personally. Okay, I think I'm just gonna move on from that and see how we get on. Okay, I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and mascara and then I will be back to finish my face and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I put on the biggest lashes I had because I felt like this look just kind of gored with them uh, and they are absolutely huge. <laughs> I didn't wanna do eyeliner because I thought it would just, I would probably just mess up the whole look. To bronze my face, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And then for blush, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in First Love. I'm gonna line my lips using my NARS lip liner. This is in the shade, so I think it's Venice, but on my pencil it says Vents, but that's the one I'm using. And then I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty lipstick in Glazed. And I'm gonna set using my Fenty Beauty setting spray. And this is the final result. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I actually think it turned out pretty good. I think considering this is quite far out of my comfort zone, I think I did a pretty good job. So I'm very proud of myself for that. But final thoughts on the palette. I think this is beautiful. I think all of the shades blended really nicely. They were super, super pigmented. I absolutely love the shimmer shades. I think out of all the shimmer shades, Pride is definitely my favorite. Like that one just blew my mind. It was amazing. Um, and my least favorite was probably All In, just because I didn't think it was anything kind of crazy different. Um, but I did really like the shimmer shades on the darker side of the palette. Like if you take this eye, obviously I put some blue and some green in there, but in terms of just like, if you wanted to do a neutral, sexy, smoky eye, this is really good. And I thought Underground was a really, really nice kind of silvery, shimmery shade, which I don't tend to do too much silver when I'm doing a smoky eye because I don't tend to do cool tone smoky eyes. I tend to go towards the golds and the bronzes, but I just thought it was such a beautiful color that I will definitely be using it again. So I thought Basic Trout, which is um, this one here, I thought it was a little bit unnecessary just because it was so light, it didn't show up on me at all. So I probably won't use that one again, unless it was to maybe kind of just brighten up the inner corner if I just wanted a bright matte shade. Plot Twist was another one that was quite difficult to show up. I mean, you can kind of see it with the light. You can see that slightly bluey 
glow, but it did take quite a lot of work to get to this stage. I think if you wanted to use it on your lid, just making sure you put down a really good eye primer and then probably applying it with your fingers. I hope then that it would show up. I will definitely try that one again because it's such a beautiful baby blue. So I'm not gonna give up on that one just yet. But in terms of using it here, I was hoping it would be just slightly, slightly more pigmented to show up kind of like the pink did, but that's only something small and it certainly wouldn't stop me using the shade again. When I first used Pride, I was blown away and that was using a brush. Like the glitter and the tones in there were just, oh, it's just the most beautiful color I've ever seen. Um, and then I went in with my finger just to see would it come out even more pigmented and it did. And honestly, pretty much all of the shades were like that. I went in with a brush first and then I went in with my finger afterwards just so I could see the difference. And I definitely wasn't disappointed in any of them. One surprise was Mama Tutorials and that's because I used it on this eye as an inner corner highlight. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work because it's quite a bright blue. I do like this kind of neutral eyeshadow look with the blue in the inner corner. I think that's really, really pretty. And I also think the blue and the green on the lower lash line are actually really, really nice. I would love to see kind of an all blue eye look, which I think I might do at some point. To be honest, this palette just did not disappoint. I mean, it's Nikki Tutorials. I didn't expect it to. I think she clearly put a lot of work and a lot of effort into this. She was obviously kind of scarred from her previous experience and she wanted to make sure that whatever she put her name on next, wasn't going to disappoint and I don't think it did at all. I think she created something really, really beautiful and I will definitely be reaching for this again. I think it's just the right amount of color that you can play with and come up with something really fun, but also the right amount of neutral shades so you can do something that's a little bit more wearable, a little bit more daytime, or if you just wanted to do a neutral glam eye look, you could do that as well. But yeah, overall, I really, really like this palette. I really like how the eyes looked. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what your favorite color from the palette was. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you made it this far, I'm hoping you enjoyed the video, which means you will enjoy my other videos. And of course, it's always lovely to see a new subscriber on my channel but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye shadow moment thing going on oh i just remembered i didn't try it okay fine it's fine